A bizarre situation has unfolded between Belid and Aspas, reports Juani. The two parties had agreed on a record-breaking deal where Bleed would pay the full buyout of Aspas, offering him the highest salary in Valorant history. I wonder if that means the highest... completed salary? Like, actually got it paid out for the entire year, or just highest salary? Because I know some salary sizes that are monstrous. There were some salary sizes that were like... Let me do a quick thingy here. Yeah, there were some salary sizes that were like over two-thirds of a mil, from what I understand. So if this was going to be the highest salary in Valorant history, I mean, I don't know exactly where he's getting those numbers from because he would surely have to know like every other top-tier salary in the game in order to make a claim like that. So that seems dubious to me, but maybe it was just so utterly bonkers that it would... Clear that anyway. However, after details of this negotiation were leaked, former players filed a complaint against Bleed with Riot Games, citing payment delays from 2024 kickoff event to Masters 2. Only one player received payments during this period. This isn't Bleed's first issue with contract fulfillment, putting Aspas' future in jeopardy. Aspas and his agency are now scrambling to secure a new deal. With his buyout remaining steep, teams in APAC and EMEA are being approached, but only a few organizations can afford the operation. Right. And then... We've got, what, this, which is a tweet from Valorant Esports, an update for VCT 2025. Riot Games removes Bleed Esports from VCT Pacific and promotes Boom Esports. After careful consideration, Riot has made the decision to remove Bleed from VCT and VCT Pacific. Bleed was terminated due to its failure to comply with critical reporting requirements and other key obligations under the TPA. Removal of a team from the Riot Games esports ecosystem is not something we take lightly. However, due to persistent operational failures of the team, Bleed will no longer participate in VCT Pacific to protect the best interests of the players and the league. The individual players affected were informed of the decision as soon as it was made to allow them to explore other opportunities as quickly as possible. In line with our commitment to merit-based qualification, boom, the runner-up from Pacific will be promoted into the vacated slot. And then we need to talk about this guy. Because this is the guy that was meant to be signing for them on, on, a, on a crazy contract, um, from, from what I'm hearing as well. So, I mean, you would imagine it's Aspas, right? I heard he had a crazy one on Lev. At least Sideshow was alluding to that in Plat Chat yesterday. So... Let's let's think about the ripple effect. So you have you have Lev. They're going to be selling this guy. Let's say he has a really high buyout, um, and with that buyout, they're rumored to be signing Demon One. So you got we'll just do D One. Got Demon One that was meant to be going to here, but they were probably going to be purchasing Demon One with the money from Aspas's buyout. So now this guy needs to find another team, um, and I, I imagine they're not going to be able to find someone that was offering as much as Bleed, and now. The Lev keep Aspas, and the, does the Demon One thing not go through? Then the Demon, then then like the NRG still keep with Madder, or are they tempted to get Aspas or Demon One? Like there is a there is a little bit of a ripple effect, um, and we don't a hundred percent know what's going to happen. So we'll keep we'll keep tuned for that. But it's definitely interesting. Um, Aspas, I imagine right now, um, will be still looking for teams. Um, yeah, and and I mean they're gonna have to pay, but you can. This is a guy that can win you, that can win, you, that can win you champs, proven, um, and is one of the most consistent, if not the most consistent duelist we've ever seen in the game. So that is that is really big. Um, 